Well done, well done, Hannah and Amy. Six thousand pounds you're playing for tonight, and six thousand pounds you made last week. That makes the grand total of twelve thousand pounds if you stay. Nice one, Ray. Brilliant. Uh, but of course, to be this is quite difficult for me to do this bit at home. Um, to be eligible for the double money, you had to be wearing your swimsuits in the phone box. So, oh, I sat there going for it already. Um, so, can you show me them? Hey, go, Ray. Fantastic. Uh, Okay, Hooray. thank you. I've just died and gone to heaven. Well, thank you very much, Hannah and Amy. Good luck, good luck to both of you. And of course, um, whether or not they survive tonight depends on Andy Stewart and here in the studio, Paul Denchfield. <laughs> You're looking worried. <laughs> I am. What's I'm very, going on? very worried. Well, you would have thought the two thousand pounds and also all that public information, the reward for people out. at home. Yeah, yeah uh, you would have thought that helped in some way, but in fact, it hasn't helped at all. We've got so many calls coming in there. Lots of false leads and things. Tons of false leads. I can't make head or tail of them. In fact, could it, it be because people want you to lose your eyebrows? No, surely not. Surely, surely not, not. Well, tell us where you are now. Well, Andy's out out there at the moment, and um, he should be uh, heading back. He actually went into um, the thick of the storm. You can see him there, oh, God, and yeah. uh, it's not raining that hard where Hannah and Amy are, so we're now further away. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're opposite what you were earlier yeah, on. Now, I am, exactly. We've gone two, we must have gone, oh look, there's a phone box there, but it's the wrong one, it's not a red one. Let's bring in Andy. The Andy? Lisa's, a, Lisa's a phone box. Andy, you've got to help me, man, my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mate, look at this weather, mate. I'm trying to get there as quick as I can. Will you just calm down and give me the right information, please, mate? Oh. Whoa, mate! Oh. mate. <laughs> How can I calm down and freak it? I've got a lot resting on this. Paul, just calm down, give me the right information and guide me to it, mate. All right, as soon as we get something sorted, but basically head out of that rain now. <laughs> That's all I've got. I've got nothing else at the moment. And they're becoming very itchy. Right, <laughs> head into the rain, head out of the rain. This man's a top professional tracker, kids. Uh, in the meantime, let's concentrate on our new boys. George and Ken, live in Enfield. George and Ken. Uh, I noticed that, George, you've taken your glasses off. You know! Because I can, because see, I you. can see you! Oh, we've, got, we've got a camera, <laughs> in, your got a camera in your phone box, box if you don't... Oh, 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 I forgot, sorry, mate. Okay, well, George and Ken start to look worried because we are now concentrating on finding you. Well, not me, I don't care if they're caught or not, but I know a man who does. John McMahon? I definitely do, and I think we're going to crack London. We have had so many leads taking us into Enfield Town. Southbury Road, Church Street. Around that area now, Victoria's heading in, she's about four or five minutes away, but okay. the traffic is bad. She's so having is real Victoria trouble. heading to a positive lead now? She's heading to it now, we've had about 11 sightings in this area. Okay, let's go to Victoria. Hi, Victoria! Hi. John? Will you two talk to each other? Victoria, what are you doing? I'm heading up to Enfield, John, as you said. Excellent. I'm on Greens Lane at the moment, right. I think I'm about 10 minutes away, it depends on the traffic, you know what London's like. Right, as you get closer I'm going to guide you in on the G with your GPS. Alright, thanks John. And for you just tuning in at home, GPS means Global Positioning Satellite System. That's right, right. Good luck John, you've got 17 minutes left to capture them. Thanks a lot. And there's still one team that we haven't seen a lot of this evening, and they're Darren and Adrian, who survived last week and banked £4,000. Darren and Adrian! What have you done with the money so far? Have you spent uh, any of it? Have we spent any? Yes. No, Ray. No, okay. We've put Fair it all enough. into a Swiss bank account. Yeah. <laughs> you need a lot more than £4,000 to open a Swiss bank account. I'm not just, sure how. Just a very little Swiss bank, though. Okay. Yes, I've heard that about you, Darren. Well, meanwhile, <laughs> let's go and check on the lady checking them down. Sarah, how are you doing on your very plan? Very good. It's getting really exciting. Darren and Adrian, they're in the Blackpool area. We're getting a lot of leads. We've got Tom the Memory Man, he's actually called in. We've got him on the line. Tom the Memory Man called in? Yes, he's speaking to one of my backup team right now. Apparently he knows 16,000 names and numbers in Blackpool. And he's looking at the, at the um, monitor, well, at the television show at home and trying to Thank work you, Tom. out so he's, <laughs> if he knows the telephone box. Tom knows 16,000 phone boxes in Blackpool? Yeah. Get a life, Tom. <laughs> No, 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 just being horrible. Tom, thank you very much for watching and thank you for all of your help. <laughs> backtracking, backtracking, backtracking. So, Sarah, where have you put Matthew? Well, right now, Matthew, he's setting, heading south towards the football ground. Yep. In fact, he's right on top of them, virtually. There's um, Matthew. There's a possible lead. Matthew, how's that going, that lead near the football ground? Right, it's not bad. I'm on uh, Livam Road heading south here and uh, I'm having a good look around. I haven't seen anything yet. Right. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea. What do you think? It's all we've got, Matthew. We're checking out lots of other leads right now. And we got Tom the Memory Man, of course. 
Tom, I've written you a list. We need a wedding present for Joe and Sarah. <coughs> See if you can get us that holiday. Have a word with your mom. And Kevin needs a walk. Oh, and have a good day off. Come on, kids! Telewest Active Digital is the future of TV today. Press the interactive button and you can do more with your television. Send emails free and without a computer. Browse high street stores without going to the high street. Book a holiday without going to the travel agent. Read the news in sport without buying a newspaper. Yes, for now! And even order flowers. These are lovely. Mom? Call 0500 500 100 and get more from your TV with Telewest Active Digital. Oh, Jack, look at the queue! <laughs> Sorry, I'm full up. There you go. Jack's mum says you don't get full up with the Milky Way. I think he's gonna go for it, Jack. Nice one, ZG. Nice. <laughs> Maureen here is eating Benacol yogurts because you wanted to reduce your cholesterol. Yes, I had already changed to a healthier diet. Then I came across Benacol yogurts, which are proven to reduce cholesterol. And I couldn't believe it. I just thought, wow, I do lead a reasonably healthy lifestyle, but I wanted to do more. Benacol yogurts are delicious, and it's hard to believe that they're reducing my cholesterol at the same time. So you're pleased with Benacol? I feel great. It's brought my cholesterol down, and I'm delighted. Benacol yogurts, proven to reduce cholesterol. Easy Vision all day monthly disposable contact lenses from Specsavers are designed to be the world's most comfortable lenses so your eyes stay fresh. Call in and try them for 30 days free. You can't see them, but they're there. They tap your phones, they train your enemies, they deal in disinformation, insurrection, fear, and lies. But it's okay, they're on your side. The men and women who do the dirty work. Specialist Weekend. Starts Saturday from 2 and continues Sunday on UK Horizons. Right now, let's check out the situation for George and Ken who are in Enfield, chased by Victoria and here in the studio, John McMahon. John, are you any closer to George and Ken? Ray, as you can see here, this is Victoria in the GPS. She's got a one-way system here she's going to have to battle with. This is where we think George and Ken are. Yep. We're just, she's going around the one-way system now, she's coming back on it, but the traffic has been a murder for it just to get there. So, Victoria, how, how much in time do you think till you reach that designated point? About five minutes, Ray. OK, John, so you should be on time. All right? We're hoping, Ray, we're hoping. We'll come back to you. Hannah and Amy are hiding out in Worthing. Andy Stewart is chasing them. This man's bet both of his eyebrows that he will capture them. You've got ten minutes to save your eyebrows. OK, house, well, I think they've given us just tons of leads for the centre of Worthing. Yep. And um, now we have one lead. There's also, we sent um, a cab driver to pick up this number early on. It's constantly engaged. If I can have a look at the two girls, Hannah and Amy. Let's have a look at the phone box. OK, yep. Coombs. Coombs, does that make you nervous? <laughs> no. <laughs> look, uh, come on. Anyway, Andy. Andy? Yeah. Can you hear me, mate? Andy, if you look at the map, yeah, he's actually had to go out of the square. He was down here in Lansing. Ooh, yep. look at that. And he's now making his way up. There's actually a symbol there on the OS map where there's a phone box. That's why we knew how to send the um, taxi driver there. So you're heading there now? We're heading there right now. Andy should be on his way. OK, so it worked. Coombs, Coombs. Coombs. Does that make you nervous <laughs> no, that it wasn't Coombs? Now, we've met Darren and Adrian in their phone box in Blackpool tonight, but we still haven't found out how their week on the run led them there tonight. And like the other teams, they were given a task to complete each day, earning them £2,000 for every day they achieved it without being filmed by their tracker. Their task was to be entertainers at a different holiday park every day, but to double their money, and I think Paul Densfield has just come on a top tip, uh, we'll back to that later, Darren and Adrian, to double their money, they had to wear their swimming costumes whilst doing their tasks. A moral dilemma, of course, for our shy, introverted, missing mummy boys, Darren and Adrian.